गेट रेडी टेन सेकेंड्स फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक ब्रीफली टू गिव द बैकग्राउंड अंडर विच दिस बिल हैज़ बीन ब्रॉट फॉरवर्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट द हाउस इज अवेयर दैट दिस इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज बीन इन एग्जिस्टेंस नाउ फॉर नियरली हाफ ए सेंचुरी इट वॉज एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन नाइनटीन हंड्रेड टेन एंड सिंस देन इट हैज़ रेंडर्ड वेरी वैल्यूएबल सर्विस फॉर द प्रमोशन ऑफ हिंदी एंड थ्रू होल्डिंग वेरियस कॉन्फ्रेंसेज इट फोकस्ड द अटेंशन ऑफ द कंट्री टू द ग्रेट इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ हिंदी एज ए नैशनल लैंग्वेज द इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज रेंडर्ड वैल्यूएबल सर्विस इन वेरियस अदर वेज ऑल्सो इट हैज बीन कंडक्टिंग एग्जामिनेशंस इट हैज ऑल्सो बीन एफिलिएटिंग इंस्टीट्यूशंस विच आर डूइंग सिमिलर काइंड ऑफ वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ हिंदी एंड इट हैज ब्रांचेज इन वेरियस पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री द इंस्टीट्यूशन हैज ऑल्सो बिल्ट अप a library which probably contains almost all the books which have been published in hindi so far and it has a valuable collection of manuscripts i understand that it is one of the best in the whole country it conducts various examinations and these examinations have been recognized by the government it has also on its rolls a large number of members some differences have arisen among the members and the activities of the institution have been paralyzed after the declaration of hindi as the official language it was thought by the sammelan that it was necessary to amend its constitution therefore at the hyderabad session of the sammelan held in march 1949 a resolution was passed for the amendment of the constitution and a committee of 21 members was appointed to frame the rules and place its recommendations before a special session of the sammelan to be held at patna this committee did prepare a draft constitution for the sammelan and it was placed before the patna session of the sammelan but unfortunately at this session differences arose among the members and after a good deal of discussion it was decided ultimately to entrust the framing of the constitution to a committee of 11 persons with this proviso that a constitution signed by eight members shall be deemed to be approved by the general session of the sammelan this committee prepared a constitution and it was considered by the session of the committee held in december at this session differences arose among the members and the sammelan was not able to hold its session the situation now is that the institution is in the hands of an official receiver he has done good work 
but obviously at the present moment because he is only an honorary person looking after this institution he cannot give much time and the institution had not been doing the work for which it was established several years back various efforts have been made to bring about some kind of a settlement but all these efforts have failed ultimately the uttar pradesh government had to intervene and pass the act of 1956 this act was also in the nature of an interim measure but the act of the up government was challenged in the high court at allahabad and it was declared ultra wires mainly on the ground that it created a corporation which objects not confined to one state and the court said that legislation could be passed only by parliament we have been receiving various representations from people who are interested in the welfare of this institution and the promotion of hindi and the government have therefore thought it proper to declare this institution as an institution of national importance and to rescue the institution which has unfortunately fallen into evil days this is the main purpose for which this bill has been brought forward the special features of this bill are these we are proposing to appoint a governing body which will consist of a chairman a secretary and 13 other members all to be appointed by the central government but this will only be an interim measure this bill empowers the governing body to make with the approval of the central government the rules of the sammelan it will also set up a properly constituted government body which will take charge of the institution in course of time the house will not that in clause 12 of the bill the governing body has been empowered to make with the approval of the central government rules of the sammelan in respect of matters relating to membership including the qualifications and disqualifications for membership of the sammelan the powers and functions of the governing body the conduct of election for the constitution of the governing body and the decisions on doubt and disputes at or in connection with these elections it is also proposed that the accounts of this institution should be audited by a charactered accountant the government of india have a certain responsibility in the promotion of hindi and the house is aware that the government have taken various measures to promote hindi throughout the country during the last several years